our third book reading for today. This book is The Complete Golden Dawn System of Magic, written by Israel Regardi. Okay. Some people consider this book important. I just actually talked to someone yesterday, a uh, book binding specialist in the world. I went into an old bookstore yesterday and uh, we had about an hour and a half conversation on magic uh, Bibles teachings uh, this other things and he considers this to be not uh, the not the quintessential it's just fun not even fun it, it, he considered he just brushed it aside he talked about other things which uh, uh, which I wasn't aware of some of them some of them I had heard of before okay but this is a it is an important book uh, this is the 1990 edition here's a couple of pictures here okay this is Israel Regardi, born November 17th, 1907, died March 10th, 1985. The Complete Golden Dawn. And this should be the 1990 version. 1990. Check it out. 1990 version. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to read volume six. I should have. Volume six. Just read a page or two. We're going to read volume six, Outer Order Rituals on and Commentaries. Volume six, page 66. Might as well, might as well. November 17th is auction stream. 230. God willing. Okay, November 17th. You gotta remind me September, October. So month, month and a bit away. Okay, good. That's good. So page 66. This says, what do we got? Mm -hmm. uh, important tables and illustrations. Page 66 will be a part of Lamen of the, the Duchess. Lamin the Duchess. So let's go to page 66. Let's see what that is. Wow. Look at page 64. Look at page 64. Right, that's page 64, and page 66. Actually, of the three chiefs, this whole situation. Yeah, let's reach page 66, and we're gonna start reading it. From here, of the three sh chiefs, chefs, chiefs, of the three chiefs, okay, let's check this out, And we're going to read to page 68. Okay. The three, sh the three chiefs are in the temple and rule it, yet they are not comprehended, comprehended in, nor understood by the outer order. 
they represent, as it were, veiled divinities sending a form to sit before the veil Prakoth, Prakoth, and like the veils of Isis and Nephethys, impenetrable save impenetrable save to the initiate the synthesis of the three chi three chiefs may be said to be in the form of thoth thoth who cometh from behind the veil at the point of its rend rending yet separately they may be thus referred the the imperator from his relation to Jabora may be referred to the goddess Nephthys. The premonstrator from his relation to Chess Chess Chessit may be referred to the goddess Isis. The Cancellarius from his property of recorder may be referred to the god Thoth. No ceremony of the outer order may take place without a chief, preferably the three chiefs or their vice uh, genera, generates represent and on account of the stations on the dais. It is well to have these stations filled by an adept should a chief be absent these stations and those of the officers are called the visible stations of the gods and descriptions of the forms which an adept officer builds up as a focus of force are given in another paper the invisible stations these are one the station of the carabin two the stations of the children of horus three the stations of the evil one four the stations of the har harpocrats harpocrats five the stations of isis nepheus aro aroris first the kurobem these are shown in the color palette section of this book the stations of the man, the lion, the bull, and the eagle are at the four cardinal points without the hall, an invisible guardian of the limits of the temple. They are placed according to the winds beyond the stations of Herophant, Dadochas, Herius, and Stolis. And in this order, do their symbols appear in all warrants of temples the carob of air for formulates behind the throne of herophat she has a young girl's countenance and form with large and shadowy wings and she is a power of the great goddess hathor who unites the powers of isis and nefer nephthys to the sign Aquarius in is she referred as a uh, cor correlative which represents springs of water breaking upon earth though as a zodiacal sign it is referred to air the container of rain the Egyptian name of the sign Aquarius is for quote Thou shalt not confound the Kurubim with their signs of the zodiac, notwithstanding that the latter be under the pres presidency of the former, seeing that the Kerub repre representeth a far more sublime potency, yet acting by a harmonious sym sympathy through the particular sign allotted onto their correspondence end quote the carob of fire has the face and form of a lion with large and clashing wings he formulates behind the throne of 
uh, Dadochus, and he is a power of the great goddess Tharpish or Tharfeshest, Tharfeshest. The latter syllable being nearly Pasht. The action of the lion Kerub is through the flaming fire of Leo, of which the Egyptian name is Lab Labo A. The carob of water has the face and form of a great eagle with large and glistening wings, and he formulates behind formulates behind the throne of Harris. He is a power of the great god Tamu, T M U, and his operation is by the sign of Scorpio, which is called the Egyptian Slia E. The carob of earth has a face and form of bull with heavy and darkening wings. He formulates behind the throne of Stolius, and he is a power of he ha, he is a power of the great god Afashi, and his operation is by the sign Taurus called the Ta'ur in Egyptian. Second, the children of Horus between the invisible stations of the Cherubim are those of the four vice generants of the elements and they are situated situated at the four corners of the temple at the places marked by the four rivers of eden in warrant in the warrant the body of a warrant authorizing the formation and establishment of a temple represents the temple itself of which the guardian are the cherubim and the vice generants in the places of the rivers asa asim shet man headed is placed in the northeast between the man and the bull asham set or asham asham the amish amisheth the spelling is coptic and differs according to the force intended to be invoked by the letters. Tau Mathafa, jackal headed, is placed in the southeast between the man and the lion. Tomath or Tomomathi. Afia, ape faced, is placed in the southern west between the lion and the eagle. Afia or Afapex. Kabeksnov, hawk faced, is placed in the northwest between the eagle and the bull. Kabeksnov or Dab Dabeksnova. Third, the station of the evil, evil one. This station is in the place of Yusod and is called the station of the evil one, the slayer of Os Osiris. He is the temp tempter, accuser and punisher of the brethren and in egypt is represented mostly by the head of the water dragon the body of the lion or leopard and the hind parts of the water horse he is the administrator of the power of the evil triad the scooping dragon Apophrasis, the slayer was of a slayer of osiris Sathan Phaiphon, the brutal power of demonic forces, Besses. The synthesis of this evil triad, quote, the mouth of the power of destruction, end quote, is called the Omu Sazathan. Fourth, the station of Harpocrates. The invisible stations of Harpocrates is in the path of Shemek between the station of Hegmon and the invisible station of the evil triad. Harpocrates is the god of silence and mystery, whose name is the word of this grade of Nafayat. He is the younger brother of Horus, Horopocrates. Fifth, the station of Isis and Nephatias. The stations of Isis and Nephatias are respectively at the places of the pillars in Natchez and Hod, and those great goddesses 
are not otherwise shown in the grade, save in connection with the praia monstrator and imperator as operating through the herfant, seeing that Isis corresponds to the pillar of mercy and naf naphthias to that of severin severity, severity, and therefore the position of the pillars or obliques are but, as it were, the places of their feet. The stations of Aquarius, the invisible stations of Aro, not Aquarius, Aurorius, Aurorius, Horus the Elder, is beside the Herophant as though representing the power of Osiris to the outer order. For while the Herophant is an Adeptus, he is shown only as Lord of the Paths of the Portal, so that when the Herophant moves from the throne of the east he is no longer osiris but aurorius yet when the herophant is on the dais the station of aurorius is that of the immediate past herophant who sits on the herophant's left aro arist this ends the constant constant tutory symbolism of a temple in the grade of Nafayat. Should a member have occasion to quit this place, he shall do it moving from the course of the sun, course of the sun. As he passes to the place of Harophant, he shall salute with the sign. And when he enters or quits the temple, he shall salute the Harophant's throne when within the portal wow so this is was basically explaining the position of the people i guess the what did it refer to them uh, where people were supposed to stand and so here's some of the pictures heavy Oof, the names so here's some of the pictures of the all right like i'm not kidding you just timing of this i was at a book binders ancient book binder like uh, practicing the ancient arts and he was talking about some of the stuff and showing me what he was doing with the covers of the books with letter binding them and putting what we just read the position of different things of uh, where the symbols are supposed to go on the covers of the books where this would go here that would go there that would go there the symbol would be in the middle and all this jazz right very cool uh this book i got for free because friends were getting rid of it and i said i'll take it like don't throw it away like what are you guys doing uh i'll take it so i took it off their hands uh, but I think this book is two, three hundred bucks, three, four hundred bucks maybe. It's expensive. The original uh, of this is into the thousands. The first printing. Uh, the first printing, I think, is 1983. This is 1990. Okay. Metamancer. Extreme synchronism. Although it has a lot of Jewish mythicism, uh, mysticism, it is very uh, contaminated with Christianity, other religions, and uh, cultures like Egypt. That's uh, what the Golden Dawn are like. Yeah, uh, according to what the guy I was uh, talking to yesterday, he didn't think of the Golden Dawn. Uh, had, he dismissed it. He, he totally dismissed it right and then he started talking about some of the other stuff he's done and he showed me uh, uh, on his computer showed me uh, some of the work that he had done in binding some of the old texts we're talking texts that are uh, like he's worked on the Gutenberg Bible where there's like only three copies 
uh, like this guy's sought after worldwide, right? So uh, he filled me in on some of this stuff, which was interesting, uh, to say the least, right? First time chat, Galamain768. Uh, suffice it to say, I don't think I'm going to be visiting him again. I'm not into the dark magics and stuff like those or magic in general, even though many things are magic right uh, but i don't want to go down that rabbit hole uh at all to me the entheogenic psychedelic rabbit hole is my natural state right and that requires a lot of time if you're going to put uh, if you're going to not get burned by it right 